Hi there, so do you think there's room in the market for another sports watch? Possibly not, but the folks at YHE think that there is, and possibly with good reason, because what they've designed is this, the BP Doctor watch, that's a kind of smart watch that will take your blood pressure, okay? So I think that's quite a good idea, okay? The watch will take your blood pressure, especially if this is something you want to monitor through the day for health reasons and things. And so this is the watch. I mean, it's got some decent functions on it, okay? So there you go, the screen uh, frustratingly turns off really quickly, okay? So the pause time for it uh, could be a little longer, and Tapping it doesn't do anything, you have to press the side button on the side. But then doing it again will then give you a list of the things it'll do. So it will test your blood pressure, which obviously for the BP doctor you'd want it to. Uh, blood oxygen, oh, stop it. Um, uh, 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 your resting heart rate, it'll track a workout for you. And then alarm, calorie, sleep, weather. Um, and then HRV, which is, HRV is a good thing to be testing, okay? So battery life is kind of the, right about the same as an Apple Watch, okay? So an Apple Watch, you kind of have to charge every kind of day, day and a half. This, if you're using it quite a lot, you have to do the same, okay? So battery life isn't great on this. If they're looking for something that doesn't need charging a lot, then this is maybe not the watch for you. So let's go through some of the functions on the watch itself. So let me put it on. It does come with uh, a piece of paper that you measure your wrist with first uh, in order to know how tight to set the strap, which is quite important when it comes to testing your blood pressure. Um, I've lost that piece of paper, but I know the, what number I put it on, so that's what I've done. So you want it to be a very snug fit because for blood pressure testing, it has to be able to work properly, okay? So make sure and follow the instructions properly for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the heart rate, just the resting heart rate, and I'm gonna set the BP Doctor watch going, and I'm gonna set my uh, Apple Watch going at the same time so we can compare results. Okay, so here we go then. So I'll get this one going first. Heart rate right now while I'm making this video, according to the BP Doctor, is 81 beats per minute. But let's check what the Apple Watch says. 37 beats per minute. So the difference between the Apple Watch at 36, 37 beats per minute and then the BP Doctor, which is telling me I've got 73 beats per minute for my heart rate, is a little bit concerning, okay? So in terms of uh, being able to trust what the readings are, this now for me means that I wouldn't trust anything that came off this in terms of heart rate, okay? So that means there's the sports tracking, the HRV function, everything that came off the back of it, I'm afraid I just would not trust the BP Doctor watch uh, for this at all. So let's move on to the blood oxygen levels. And then here we go with the camera again. Sorry about uh, not showing you full screen grabs of what's going on with the watch here, but I've only got two hands and one of them's uh, wearing the watch. So 97% on uh, the BP Doctor watch, we're like up to 98, which is kind of what I'd expect. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really imagine that the Apple Watch is going to be too different from that. 100%. Now it's only a couple of percent difference, so really I'm not going to argue with that. If this was telling me that I had like kind of 90% uh, blood oxygen and this was saying 100%, then I'd be a bit kind of alarmed about it. But for that, I'd say it's fine. That really just comes down to one last test of this watch, okay? So the main reason for this watch, remember, is it's blood pressure monitoring, all right? So obviously the Apple Watch doesn't do blood pressure reading. However, I do have an actual blood pressure monitor that I will test. So uh, I'm going to test blood pressure on the watch and then I'll test on this. Now it's important that I'm relaxed, so just know that I'm gonna take a couple of minutes just kind of breathing here and relaxing before I do this test. Okay, here we go then. The test is simple enough. The manual does recommend that you keep your arm up at the same height as your heart, but I'm gonna keep my arm and wrist at the same position for both monitors, don't worry. As you take the test, the strap itself inflates with air and gets tighter around your wrist, much like you'd expect with a blood pressure monitor. It's not entirely uncomfortable, but do be aware it does get rather tight. Okay, 119 over 92 was the reading from the watch. And interestingly, when it's doing the blood pressure reading, the resting heart rate is a lot closer. So quite what it's reading on its actual heart rate test, who knows? So I'm gonna uh, take another quick rest and then I'm gonna move on to using this monitor instead. So I've made sure to keep my arm in the same position as before. And it's just a blood pressure test that you'll see if you go into the doctors where the cuff inflates and then deflates. Nothing spectacular here. 125 over 78 with the same kind of resting heart rate, okay? So there's already enough of a difference between the two of them that I kind of think, oh, hang on, so what one should I be trusting here? After all, this is quite a kind of a standard device for testing your blood pressure. But let's just see what happens if I test my blood pressure again with the BP doctor, okay? So let me put this out the way. Same thing, keep my arm in the same place, and I go through the process. 
128 over 93. So actually, that wasn't as wide ranging a result as I've been getting over the past couple of months while testing this. Sometimes it can be like 110 over 90, and then I'll test it like 10 minutes later and it'll be 160 over like 70 or something. So the problem with this is that I don't trust it, okay? And you, if it's a blood pressure monitor, you need to be able to trust it, okay? You need to be able to take a reading and go, I know that's gonna be a likely representation. I don't really think that my blood pressure has jumped from 110 over 93 to 128 over 93 uh, in the space of the time it took me to test with the other blood pressure monitors. So there's just something not quite right with this, okay? And I've been emailing them back and forth and they've been giving me suggestions about making sure you're always sitting in the same position that it's always as tight as it's meant to be but actually I think that this just, just isn't quite accurate enough. Now it did dawn on me after filming all of this so I was being a bit unfair by not retesting with this monitor so I had another go and look at that the results are identical so this is really what I'm on about is the fact that this monitor was the same in both tests where there was just enough of a variation on the BP doctor that I just couldn't trust it and this was only with 10 points difference and like I said there were massive differences in earlier tests with the BP Doctor Pro. However, right, so this sounds a kind of a damning review um, so far. Um, I think some of it works well, but yeah. What I have a real problem with this for is that one time I used it for a row, okay? I did a half hour row and it tracked my heart rate properly and it said that I'd, I'd set it to exercise and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the problem was it then didn't work for the next two days at taking my blood pressure because I'd got sweat on the strap, okay? And for me, that's just an absolute deal breaker, okay? Whether this is marketed as a sports watch or not, if you get any kind of sweat on the strap and it stops working, it's just pointless, okay? So um, that really would rule this out for me. And then one other thing quickly to look at is the app that it comes with. So it does have an app where you can look at all of your readings. Then I'm gonna refresh and it catches up with the readings that I just took. So you can see the most recent 128 over 93 blood pressure reading. And it shows me the history of the two tests I just did then, which like I say, is a little bit too much of a variation. Blood oxygen, it does the same as well. So the stats that come off the watch are there for you to look at, okay? and you can do things like change the watch face and all this kind of stuff. So it's like, it, it's an app that works well, but it's all very good if you've got an app that works well, but if the watch isn't doing what it's supposed to, that becomes a little bit problematic. So really the, in the end, the review that I'd give of this is that it's a great idea because you've always got it on and if it just pings off every hour and tells you what your blood pressure is, that's a great thing to have. And it does kind of inverted commas work. It will give me a blood pressure reading. So like you can feel it swelling up when it does the test and whatever. So it's in there. But unfortunately, the variance is just too much that I wouldn't trust it. I already showed the problem with the resting heart rate. So that then means that things like the HRV testing are completely out the window for me as well. Uh, the battery life isn't uh, great. So I kind of think also, oh, because if I was going to change from the Apple watch to a different watch, I'd go for a Garmin, okay? Because they have great batteries and this thing sucks. Okay, the Apple watch, but this isn't a review about the Apple watch. Um, but really, for a sports watch point of view, I wouldn't get this purely because of the sweat on the band issue, okay? So a great idea. There probably is room in the market for something because it's got this blood pressure test on it, but until they improve it and they get it a lot tighter in terms of the results, it's not for me right now. And if you do come across it, make sure to do some research into whether they've updated it before entertaining buying it, all right? So uh, I feel bad about doing a relatively negative review for something that was sent to me for free, but I'm not gonna sit here and say buy it because right now I wouldn't recommend anybody buys it for any reason other than telling the time, okay? So thank you so much for watching this review. I've got a couple of other things coming up in the pipeline. I know it's different from my row along workouts thing, but hopefully you find these interesting as well. Uh, I will see you in another video, whether it's a review one or a row along workout. Until then, please take care of yourselves. Be well, bye-bye.